Concord, other race you've got three, Festivity, Marcus Aurelius and Romantic Lady, how'd they go? Yep, really happy with all of them, Marcus Aurelius is going great, tried well here the other day, should get run off his feet over 1200, but my gut feeling is he'll be charging at them late, um, so he's going well, I hope you'll ride him. Um, festivity was good, she just works on her own, did some nice work here this morning. She was good up there uh, in the hallmark on Boxing Day, doesn't seem to have taken a backward step since. Uh, romantic lady, she, she ran well on Boxing Day, she had no luck. Um, drew the outside, had to go back, poked up the fence and finished off well without sort of looking like she was challenging the leaders. If she had drawn a gate and been able to take a position, I think she would have run top three or four, no problem. So she she draws a gate on Saturday, day, she's a, she's a cheeky chance, but it's going to be a really good field. Like, uh, you know, you've got your railway form coming through with Babylon Berlin and those sorts of horses, so they'll have to be right at the top of the game. Ben, you got Babylon Berlin going into the Concorde this weekend uh, after a really good run on the railway last time out. Their form seems to have stacked up really well in the Telegraph. Uh, what are you making of, of what she's got in front of her this weekend? Uh, yeah, well, obviously I decided to stay away from uh, Levante and Entrevue. Um, yeah, they're two class horses and yeah, I just thought this might be an easier option at, at this stage anyway. She's only a four-year-old and yeah, she's got a bit, of, bit ahead of her. Yep. Uh, has she come through the railway? Yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's super. I'm really happy with her. Uh, what have you asked of her in, in training since? Uh, she's had a couple of good hit outs. She had a good hit out this morning and she's ready to go. So um, yeah, I can see her, see her being right in it. What about uh, short fuse? We've just seen uh, this horse uh, preparing for the Concord, I understand. Yeah, she's gonna gonna run the Concord. Her run last time was much, much better, much improved, and uh, hopefully she um, will count herself well. And But she's gonna make the field. I don't know how many are gonna be in the nominations. There wasn't a big field to telegraph, so maybe they're hanging around for this race. Okay, yeah, you happy enough with the work uh, that you've just seen? Yeah, very happy. I like, um, saw her coming off the track, and we always, we always get off her and lead home up or she gets on the toes of it too much and loosen the saddle and she's happy doing that. Dragon Leap of course was, he's been plagued with problems all the way through his career and in, in saying that Andrew and I believe we've got him 100% at the moment or it's you know no great issues with him it's always only been feet and I think our Farrah's done a fantastic job with the horse and hopefully he'll line up there this weekend but it's a race that's way below his, his Best trip, of course, he's got to run 1,200 metres, a fast 1,200 metres around Ellerslie, but we're just pleased to get him back to the races and then hopefully on into something after that.